what music are you guys listening to? Do you guys still actively listen to new bands? Because I know at some point I just kind of give up and just go, I like the bands I have, and occasionally <laughs> one can slip yeah, through. Sure. But you know, the you know, I'm still working through certain catalogs that I haven't gotten fully through. Like, are you Black Rebel Motorcycle Club? Yeah. I love right now. And I, I know they've been around for 10 years, but I just saw them at a festival and just was completely invigorated and, and, and blown away by them. And, um, and uh, that Rodriguez, and Rodriguez. Uh, those two, the two records of Rodriguez from that documentary are just, I can't stop playing both of those things. Just it's hard, there's so many. Uh, God. Well, last summer I really liked the Tune Yards record. I don't know if you know that band. What Tune, are they called? Tune Yards, it's like a Brooklyn lady who does loops. Um, yeah. Like the new Alt-J record. There's a heavy metal band called Baroness, who I absolutely love. Like, they made a record called Green and Gold. That's kind of a conceptual record. It's amazing. Oh, like uh, Death Grips. That's an awesome band. Cool. I'm gonna write this um, down. These are the bands I'm gonna listen to. Tame Impala to get is a really good one. Tame Impala, man. Yeah. Tame Impala. That's my favorite record this year. Uh, what are you listening to? One Direction. I One like direction. the new Selena Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> the Demi Lovato record. Yes. No, I haven't really gone that deep. Oh, yeah. Little Mix. That's a yeah, Little big. Mix. Little Mix. I'm making Little Mix. Fine group of ladies. Cheryl, Cheryl Lloyd. Cheryl Lloyd. Soundtracks See, are tangled. See, you guys mm -hmm. could r rip off all the young teenager things much faster. How quickly you pulled Somebody, all those out. It's interesting hearing the songwriting craft and, and how kids react, you know. Yeah. What's the place for rock now, like rock music, for like young people? Like, do you get the sense that like it's being serviced or that it means as much to this generation? Like, is that just some like old fogey thing where you think they're not connecting in the way we did, but they are? Or like, what what do you think is happening right now for rock and roll? You know what? I, I saw the lineup for the Vans Warp Tour mm -hmm. this morning, and I only knew like four of the seventy bands on there, and so I. I, I I immediately thought, like, wow, that's the younger generation's yeah. bands. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like I'm pretty up on new bands, and I didn't know. I mean, they're all punk rock bands, but clearly, like, you know, they get 20,000 people at every Warp show, so there's an audience for all those bands. Yeah, for sure. I, I think that's true. Like, uh, you know, like, my son will tell me about his friends that like certain bands I've never heard of, and it seems like there's a lot of them. Yeah. That a lot of a lot of kids are yeah. are really into. So I think there is a pretty big connection with groups that we might just be too old to know about, or um, or it's just not in our in our in our radar. You know, how are you getting your music? Like, wh who's turning you on to music, or how are you finding things? I mean, I'm a luddite. I still go to record stores, and I I I go to Easy Street Records, and I buy CDs. So I'm 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 not a real downloader myself. My my son who's five four four sorry is stealing music. It, no, he's there. in he's he's into <laughs> the Gene kills. Tarnwell, he likes the kills of all bands, oh, and nice. he's like, that's my song, the kills. I'm like, how do you what? Nice. I mean, so he gravitates towards I don't know why that one song from the kills. We have to train them. I guess yeah. 